Hey guys, it's Dominique and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am going on vacation at the end of this week and I know as soon as this video gets up, my vacation officially begins, but we have a lot to do until we get there. I'm going to Cabo for the first time on a girl's trip. I've been to Mexico a million times. Mexico honestly never fails, but I've never been to Cabo specifically. So I'm super excited and I'm super excited to start getting my life organized with this trip. I am one that likes to start packing pretty far into an advance like I will start two weeks before my trip even happens my outfits are like months planned in advance for the most part but in today's video I will be giving you guys the full pack and prep experience this will be more of a week in my life of packing and prepping with me because I have appointments on different days and certain things I need to get done at different times so I'm just gonna put it all in one for you guys I cannot wait to get the vacation pre-stress off of my shoulders so I can fully relax so so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get packing. It is Sunday, that means I officially leave in a week. So that also means I need to get my tan on. I'm feeling pretty pale and every time I go on vacation, I like to use a tanning bed a couple times just to get a good base tan. So A, I'm extra darker and B, I prevent burning once I actually get there. But it is so disgusting out. Like, look at this. You can't even see through my windshield. I just am so excited to get out of here. For my nails, I found this super cute nail inspo. I'm keeping my shape. I think I want to do something like this. I think it's really cute. Also, in my more natural nail era right now, I feel like I've been getting really plain sets, but I love it so much. <laughs> I got my lashes filled and I think they look so cute. They are a little bit fuller right now, but she's like, I want them to last for you. And like once they start falling out, they're gonna look a little more natural. So I'm completely fine with that. My lashes usually last me around three, three and a half weeks. And I think that is perfect, but I am very satisfied. So part of my prep with me is making sure I get this video up in time. I do have a bit of a late upload from my last video, which you haven't seen that. It will be my fashion week vlog. I blame someone for not sending me some files in time, but that's fine. I allow you guys to give me crap in the comments if this video is not up by Saturday the 22nd. So I'm gonna try my hardest to do so because I don't wanna worry. I'm not bringing my computer on vacation, not dealing with that, and I just, I want to have a video up for you guys, okay? So I'm holding myself accountable and we are going to make sure we get everything we need to do done. So I just whipped out my luggage and I'm going to start putting everything together in a second. I did take the time the other day to start styling and putting together most of my outfits. So I have that ready to go. But what I want to share with you guys is a travel hack I've been doing for a hot minute now that has literally kept me so organized and on top of things. If you're very picky and critical like me about what outfits you want to wear for certain occasions, how you want to accessorize, but you're stressing that you're not going to remember to bring all of those things, I want you guys to hear me out here. So what you wanna do is take a notepad or a piece of paper and you wanna write down all the days you're going on your destination. If you don't care to write down every single day, or just write down certain occasions you want certain things for. So I'm gonna do like, let's say Saturday to Saturday and I'm gonna write out my day fit, my night fit. If I need a bikini outfit, throw that in there. I'm gonna add in what shoes I wanna wear, how I'm gonna accessorize, how I wanna do my hair, and then if I really wanna get technical, what makeup look I wanna do. This keeps me so on top of things, especially with packing, because then I could open my little book and then be like, okay, I need this many bathing suits, I need this pair of shoe for this outfit. Do not bring the notepad with me, this is just solely for packing, but what I will do sometimes is creating a folder in my notes and just writing for a specific occasion, okay, I need this outfit, these accessories, these shoes, so then when I'm getting ready, because everything's like just thrown into my luggage in different bags, I could just look at my notes, okay, I need to put this, this, and this on, do my hair this way, I'm ready to go. It saves you so much time, so much stress, and I highly, highly recommend trying this tip out on your next vacation.
Another travel must-have that I show in all my travel videos are these little travel bags that you can put all your clothes in, your underwear, your socks, shoes. I like to put shoes in these little dust bags. But as you can see here, I have most of all my clothes packed. This keeps everything so organized. I can just whip it out when I get to my destination. Keep everything clean, especially with shoes. Like, I like to put my shoes separate. Shoes get dirty, sandy, whatever. So they're not getting all over your clothes and your things. I have all my swimsuits in this one here. Have, like, all my tops, cover-ups, sweaters, all that. And then I'll just throw any, like, miscellaneous stuff that doesn't fit on the side. And, like... In this one here, I have all my chargers. Probably get these off of like Amazon, Walmart, Target, Winners, stores like that. If you had watched my Vegas pack and prep with me, this was a while ago, like last October, you would have seen how I used to pack my jewelry. Now, I've been meaning to get a travel jewelry case for so long. I actually um, had this gifted to me for Christmas and this is the first time I'm getting to use it, so I'm super excited, but I would try with a million of these little bags and just stuff all my jewelry in here and it was just a disaster having this little case is so convenient talking about how organized I am but look at how I organize my notebook you guys it's literally a jungle I <laughs> I can read it I understand it and again this is just for packing purposes but I can definitely work on being a lot neater Another tip I like to recommend when packing is bringing a garbage bag with you so you can separate your clean clothes from your dirty clothes. Also, when you're traveling, I don't like to have my already worn outfits just thrown back into my luggage and then when I'm looking for new fits, it's just mixed in with the dirty stuff and it just takes a bit longer to get ready. This is just so you know you have all your dirty stuff in the bag and when you're ready to go home, you literally just chuck the bag in your luggage, flatten it out and you're good to go but it's just something super easy keeps you cleanly and a little more organized as well so just pop in that in the corner of my luggage you guys my new carry-on bag my mom actually got me and her matching ones and I really needed my own carry-on because I would always steal the biggest bag that she had I'm gonna take you guys into depth of what I pack in my carry-on I'm gonna pack everything I can at the moment just to stay organized but some things I do like to throw in last minute like my money my IDs my airport snacks and like little miscellaneous things everything else I have like scattered around my room and it's just a disaster and a mess. So I wanna get it organized and just chuck everything in here.
two more things I wanted to touch base on but one I always keep all of my valuables which is my jewelry my computer my chargers in my carry-on just in case my luggage does get stolen or somebody does go through it which happens very very often I know that I have all my valuables on me beside me also all my money right in my carry-on traveling with makeup wipes in my carry-on do like to refresh my skin with some makeup wipes you guys probably already know this but planes are extremely extremely dirty and a lot of people tend to break out when flying me being one of them I usually break out really badly after I fly so if I can keep my skin as clean as possible while I am doing so I'm going to make sure I do so so I like to always pack masks with me just to keep those germs off of my face I honestly can't picture myself getting on a plane without a mask now So my packing is completely finished, but the last thing I just put together is all of my toiletries. I like to keep my toiletries till the very last minute just because in the morning I do have to do my skincare, obviously before I leave the house, but I just get everything ready in my little fold up bag here. This bag is so convenient. I believe I got it off of Amazon but it just tucks in and it's this perfect little thing. Even though my luggage is feeling pretty full, but we're not overweight, so that's all that matters. But it literally fits everything in here. I have my makeup palettes, I have just one palette. All my makeup, my skincare, and like razors, little like face shavers, tweezers and all that. And then I have all of like my shampoo and bottles that can explode or whatever on the plane in separate bags. So I'm literally ready to go. This was a long packing journey, let me tell you that. But I feel so organized and so put together. So I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little outro. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much. And stay tuned for my vacation videos that will be coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you in Cabo.